Bandai Namco were recently nice enough to invite us to go and play Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And we found it a pretty smooth and engrossing experience, especially compared to the first Xenoverse game, which we gave a pretty good review, but we did find that in some areas it was a little bit lacking. But with Xenoverse 2 releasing toward the end of October, it might be the biggest Dragon Ball game yet. The demo we played didn't have any story content, it was strictly one versus one playing against the AI. There were a ton of memorable characters and stages to pick from, including the uh, the Time Patroller, who's the protagonist of this one, Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta, GT Goku, Trunks, uh, some androids, Cooler, the fourth form of Cooler, a particular favorite. We toyed around with a lot of the characters, but we spent a lot of time digging deep into Goku and mainly played on the Tree of Might stage, which quickly became one of our favorites. Other maps included Hell, complete with the jelly bean looking rocks, uh, Namek, the Wasteland, the Archipelago, the classic Archipelago, love that one, all the way back in Budokai, love the Archipelago, and of course, the World Tournament stage. The demo we got hands on was just a taster, but we have to say we're really liking it so far. <laughs> So the big thing is, how does Xenoverse 2 compare to the original Xenoverse? The main thing is, it feels a lot smoother to play, with less of an emphasis on auto combos, and it feels generally like it recreates that Dragon Ball feeling as we know it and love from the anime, uh, just a lot better in-game. Bandai Namco and Dimps have taken painstaking efforts to give fans the chance to bring the anime to life, and while well, we've always had reservations about the series going fully 3D rather than 2D, 2.5D, We'll admit that Xenoverse is a game that we're really looking forward to now that we've had a chance to play it. And it might be the best 3D title in the series since the Budokai Tenkaichi games, of which Budokai Tenkaichi 2 is one of the best 3D fighters ever made, especially the Wii version. Mechanically, Xenoverse 2 is simple and easily accessible for any fan to be able to have a good time with it, no matter their game experience. You've got your light attacks, your strong attacks, you can fly up and down the big maps. You can boost towards your opponent, away from your opponent, you know, do the whole teleporting thing. You got like seven special attacks uh, from Kamehameha's to like big bang attacks. You can transform into Super Saiyan, you can use other abilities. You got to charge up your chi, you know, the whole Dragon Ball shebang. The main takeaway is how incredibly easy and intuitive it all is to get to grips with. Sometimes with these kind of anime fighters, it can be a bit confusing how much there is, but it's pretty easy to just do things in this. You just hold down the shoulder button, hit a corresponding face button, and you know, boom, you're blasting out special moves all over the place, whizzing around the maps, punching one another, you know, the you know, that whole deal. Doesn't seem to have that much depth combat-wise, but it's so fluid and bombastic that it's hard not to have just a ton of fun playing it. And yes, with the last generation behind us now, Xenoverse 2 has been able to fully take advantage of the current generation of hardware, which is something that we felt Xenoverse was being held back by. Universe 2 just looks a lot sharper, it's more detailed, and it feels like it bridges that anime to game gap in a way that the series hasn't quite managed to before, and visually it is pretty stunning. There's a dynamic feel to the game, not just in the animation and visual style, but the way it controls mechanically too, you know, being able to power up on the fly, and the way that the camera angles are used when performing special abilities. Down to the last detail, it seems like it was pretty important for them to capture that and it was hard not to feel pretty amped up when playing it. The demo didn't have any extra costumes for the characters, but we did spot the option there, so we're looking forward to seeing what else we can do with the characters and how they can look. The original Dragon Ball Xenoverse was a good game, but we weren't exactly salivating at the mouth for Xenoverse 2, but now that we've got hands-on and it comes out in October, we have to say we're really, really looking forward to it now, which is great news. Uh, we'll obviously be reviewing the game when it fully comes out, and uh, we're hoping to get some more hands on time and explore some of the other modes, some of the story mode, uh, soon. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, this is this is a good one. Dragon Ball fans should be very excited for this because we know we are.